Hello everyone, Sonic Senryaku here, and welcome to my Advanced Tech Slash Combat Tips and Tricks series for Neuro The World Ends With You. In this particular video, we're going to be discussing reversals, explaining what they are, how to execute them, how to apply their advantages in combat, and how to utilize the tech to inject a dose of style in your gameplay. Reversals is a fan coin term describing a tech that can be found in the Devil May Cry series, and is basically one that took advantage of the game's buffer system to allow the player free reign over which direction they wanted to unleash an attack. Players would input an attack during the animation of an ongoing one while locked onto an enemy, then hold the direction of the control stick opposite the target before releasing the lock on at the right time to unleash the attack away from the enemy. Reversals in DMC could also be pulled off even if there wasn't an enemy to lock onto, simply by holding onto the lock on button, inputting an attack command and the direction, then releasing the lock on button at the right time to reverse the action. Mastery over reversals led to certain combat privileges like the ability to extend hitbox coverage behind you at any time to prevent enemies from crowding your blind spots. This also included the affordance to evade enemy attacks while in the middle of a combo, positioning enemies in front or behind you to set up certain follow-ups, or just looking damn stylish in general. It was a tech that was sorely missed in DMC5, but one that modders were able to put back in thankfully. Unfortunately, I don't own a modded console, and my copy of DMC4 no longer exists, so the best I can do is to show off other amazing players to get my point across. These players are better than me anyway, and you should check them out if you have an interest in DMC. Links will be in the description. So how does all this apply to Neo? Well, Neo's lock-on mechanics, specifically how it interacts with the finishers of melee-type pins, act as this game's version of reversals, and coincidentally enough, offer the same advantages that they have in DMC. To be honest, Neo's quote-unquote reversals are more akin to tactical lock-on switching than being the exact same technique in DMC. However, because lock-on switching finishers behave like, at times look like, and have similar combat advantages to reversals in DMC, I'm going to call it that for simplicity's sake. Due to not having the same buffer or lock-on design as DMC, the execution barrier for pulling off reversals in Neo isn't as challenging, but it still requires some level of timing and a game plan regarding effective use and efficient follow-up, specifically when you're reversing finishers. To pull off a reversal in Neo, all you have to do is to lock on to a different enemy target before unleashing your pin's finisher. To understand better, take a look at this reversal using the pin Shishio. I keep the consecutive slashes aimed at the Grizzly, then when the finisher is imminent, I switch targets, diverting the cleaving downward slash and splitting open one of the red penguins instead. As an evasion tool, I can use the finisher to escape a surprise retaliation attack if I were just about to finish my combo by aiming it in the opposite direction. In Neo, this can be useful because lending the finisher on an unsuspecting noise will still provide a beat drop, allowing the accrual of groove to continue without any hiccups. As a crowd control tool, you can reverse the finisher on an enemy that is trying to attack from behind. As a positioning tool slash combo setup, you can switch the finisher over to another noise and combo that into a pin you are either charging in the background or just follow up the finisher with another melee assault. You can also reverse your attack slash finisher into empty space as a means to position yourself for a follow up against enemies in your blind spot. And finally, as a stylish flex, landing some of these reversals just look cool as it shows off your spatial awareness, focus, and strategic planning on the battlefield. Now let's look at some cool, combat effective uses for reversals.
ち終わらせましょうそういや、it's pretty cool that a niche action JRPG such as Neo has a mechanic that bears similarities to one in DMC, despite being more rudimentary. Simplicity aside, it's its utility that really elevates this tech, and I encourage Neo Twiwi players to experiment with and assimilate it with their common playstyle. And that's all I've got for today's video. Join me next time in this series as we talk about how you can intentionally influence the camera's point of view based on whose pin you've activated first and how that impacts the way your combos look. Until next time, like and subscribe if you enjoyed this video. More on the way. See you in the next one.